So I'm standing in the kitchens of Standard TV and Appliance and we are going to be doing a cooking segment. Now, a lot of times you think of cardoons as an ornamental, but I'm here with <laughs> Animato Zorich and we are going to be cooking them. So first of all, I'm going to set this down, Anne, because <laughs> yeah, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a regular cardoon and you are Italian and this is really a, a, an Italian and other parts of the world besides America dish. So tell us first of all, what, what are we doing with it? Well, cardoons are an artichoke relative and they're eaten in Mediterranean countries. Um, they're common in Italy, they're common in France, they eat them in Spain. Wow. Um, these are actually uh, from a local grower that grows Basque varieties and this is actually a Basque variety of so cardoon. So you're going to be giving us a recipe that helps us eat them in America now. Yeah. And clearly these didn't just jump in this bowl. So tell me, how, how do we start preparing? <sighs> yeah, first we had to uh, <laughs> cut down to the middle of the plant okay. and we had to get the leaves cut and we have to do this quickly because they turn brown. So when you say cut down to the plant, it's kind of like you would do to celery. You cut off the top parts and the that top and the ball. bottom. And then we take out the thickest outer leaves. This, this leaf here looks a little bit thick, but it'll work. Um, we have to cut it in half and the big important thing is to make sure to get these really thick outer strings off because when we cook these, uh, if we left these on, they'd get stuck in your teeth. Um, <laughs> and it'd be it a really, very unpleasant experience. And it really is like big, huge celery, the way it you're taking really, the strings off. It and really everything. is. And then it's you just, just gigantic. You're just uh, you're using a peeler, but if you could have a nice sharp kitchen knife, you could do that. Yeah. The same way, just peel I, them off. <laughs> I alternate between the two tools. <laughs> And the second thing is that on the inside, this is a, a plant that has a little bit of a skin or a fur to it. And you want to scrape it. This isn't a good example. We have another one that has more on it. But you want to get that off of it. Uh -huh. It's actually not too bad. But we also want to cut these and put them into water that has been acidified with lemon juice as quickly as possible because they start to turn brown. Okay. And you can see these have browned a little bit. It's okay. We can still eat them. Yeah. So now, Anne, once these are cut up and clean, what do you do with them? We will transfer them from the bowl and place them into the pot over there, boiling water, and just let them blanch for a minute or two. And then I, I and love then bacon. Strain them. Okay, and strain them. And then I notice some lovely bacon here. What is, I'm assuming a sauce. Yes, we are going to make a wonderful Italian tomato sauce with bacon. Um, and what's and in that? It also has vegetable stock, uh, tomatoes, and cheese, and breadcrumbs will be added at the end, and just some onion and parsley, marjoram, and a little bit of garlic. So we're gonna put all that together and then we're gonna be back in a couple of minutes when it's all ready to plate up. Yes, sounds good. All right, Anne, while I'm, I'm itching to try this, first of all, tell us what were the steps in, in making this? After we put the cardoons in the boiling water, we drained them and then I made a sauce with tomatoes, bacon, onion, garlic, and some herbs and stock. Uh -huh. And then we let the cardoons cook in that sauce for about 20, 25 minutes. And then you plated them up and I'm going to give it a shot. Now, while I'm going to do this, tell me, um, you have a blog that they can go to and get this recipe, right? Yes, I do. And I will post the recipe on my blog. Nice. So you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over there. Mm -hmm. And, oh, wow. Wow. It's like, it's like I'm in Italy. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> much. So. And Thanks.